Hey and welcome back to another episode of Plug and Play EV. I'm Steve and today we're taking on two bolts. We've got our 2020 Bolt EV versus a 2022 Chevrolet Bolt EUV. So we're taking these up in New Hampshire on a dual efficiency and uh, pseudo range test. Not quite because we have to start at uh, the limited cap of the 2020 Bolt EV that we've got at the moment with the software limitations at 80 uh, percent collaborating here with tom from pcs and evs he's up in new hampshire with uh, initially a hyundai ionic 5 similar to us or wheel drive limited then a uh, chevy bolt euv which you'll see in the video and uh, a new one which you should definitely go over and check on his channel right now we're putting this one up late so it's pretty interesting to see how he has progressed through various evs but this one will focus on these two bolts the newer version and uh, our old take and see how they go on the range test let's jump in that car Basically, looks a lot like that car. Alright, good job I arrived early because there is action at the charging stop. Ionic 5 switching over with the bolt that arrived. So the bolt is on the 150 and the Ionic 5 is on the 350. And thankfully I'm finished and don't have to hassle anyone anymore. But 78%. Bolt EUV stopped itself at 78%, so we're taking that as our starting point for the range test. Just sat in it, definitely feels a little more padded. Everything, the proportions are pretty similar up the front. Um, same width of seats, similar kind of uh, amenities and accoutrements, but uh, definitely more padding in the seats, a little more support on the side, just uh, a bit more well thought out. Looks good. Nice side view, a bit more space in the rear as we've seen on other uh, little test drives we've done. And uh, it's a nice color, ghost gray. It's the top trim, sun and sound, I think. And uh, we'll get on the road with Tom here shortly to uh, do our range test, see how we hold up. Okay, so we said 75, AC on, low fan, 70 degrees? Yep. All right, so you're predicted 202. Yep. 78% stay of charge. It's showing about 202 miles. Um, average over the last 348 has been about 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, so okay. a little bit lower than what you've been averaging. Yep, but, um, you know. But it'll be interesting to see in an apples to apples, yep. same terrain comparison. Same terrain, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. We're not supposed to get much higher than that from what I've read. So it's got a, There's a small amount yeah, of wind, seven... it can't be more than five miles an hour. Yep. Um, it's mostly going to be a crosswind. Um, Already. So. Let's hit the road. Yeah. All right. sure where we are I should put the maps back on but uh, approaching 95 so we headed east and we're gonna do a loop back on the road we just took out and uh, mostly 75 average speed over the first 30 miles or so 73 miles an hour so we'll try and keep it going and catch back up miles in, just above, 122 miles on the GOM, cruising steadily back west on 101, holding that 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Forgot to mention, we're at around 40 to 42 PSI on the tires. Those are the numbers. staring at the backside of this as well at the moment. Maybe we'll reflect on the looks. Uh, definitely a much more modern look, obviously. Um, feels like it has more road presence. Um, 
don't think it's really any higher. We can look at the comparisons and overlay the side by sides. But uh, it definitely looks much cleaner, more modern kind of design aesthetic with the thin lights. Looks a bit taller, feels a bit taller at least. Um, but very similar in terms of internal kind of feel, just obviously the updated uh, fabrics and the more padded seats. Um, but you know, the cabin as a whole feels kind of similar. Like the blacked out bow tie, like the color, ghost gray is good. Nice contrast with the black cladding. And yeah, decent looking vehicle. Okay, so 91 miles remaining. That's it for this trip. 25.6 kilowatt hours used. 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Okay, that's the halfway point ish. Okay, so firing back up again here. We're not sure if the difference between the 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour in the Bolt EV is uh, it's anything to do with me being out back. So I'm gonna go in front for the next half and we'll see how we go. So we just dropped into the orange, 3.5 miles a kilowatt hour. It's been pretty steady. I think we dropped down once on a hill to 3.4, but then topped back up again. And we'll switch positions again here. We'll follow the local knowledge that Tom laid on. We'll see where we get off, maybe here. So got the charge vehicle soon warning. So just ticked under 20 miles left. So, I'm presuming we're going to change round soon. Hope so, because we're heading away from the charger. <laughs> Take this one a bit closer than we wanted. Missed an exit there. We're looking at about 15 miles back. And the GOM had somewhere between 15 and 18 on it when we turned around. So let's turn off the AC. Let's cruise along at 65 here. Let's see what we get. So I know we hit 2% or below because the radio and entertainment system power down warning came on. So now we're back to good old fashioned phone for Google Maps. So nobody ever accuse us of not taking it right down to the wire. This will be 1% or worse, um, but only a mile and a half now. And yeah, sounds like Tom's pretty comfortable so no range anxiety over there 
of the compare notes because uh, he was under the impression that I would be higher than him. But you can see us ticking up here again, 3.7, might be up to 3.8 by the time we hit this last couple of miles here to the charger. And then you just gotta hope it's free. But we can afford to wait. So mall means chargers, of course. So we get to see just how low we've gone here. I'm betting one and a half, maybe one. We'll find out once it updates. Yeah. But yeah, that was a little knuckle biting. That's weird. 1.57% percent wrong. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> Could have done another lap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do one more exit. <laughs> yeah. Let's plug it in and see what the machine is. Yeah, it's got like things that are way ahead of its time. Yeah, and the tiny battery. So you're, you start at four or five percent here, what did it say? Four. Four, okay. Four, and the startup rate is 49 kilowatts. That car saying 45, same for me. So there you go, some interesting results. Uh, it does seem that the EUV is a little bit less efficient at those highway speeds. You've got the weight difference, the uh, extra equipment and the various uh, trim levels adding a little more to the uh, EUV. But then the uh, Bolt EV obviously having some uh, kind of fluctuations in the estimated range definitely dropped a lot down into that last quarter of the pack, leaving us uh, with significantly less range than the Bolt EUV. Uh, possibly something to do with the software, how it's calculating the uh, estimated range that's left and maybe plummeting a little bit uh, closer at the end to make you top up. We were obviously pretty low. We plugged in at that 1%, just over 1%, so it was very close to the wire. But um, it gives you an idea that 150 miles that we did at the uh, highway speeds gives you a good idea of the difference in efficiency and what you can expect from these two vehicles. Would be good to do one at 100% uh, all the way down to that last couple of percent, but we'll see if that's possible with our uh, Bolt EV still awaiting the battery recall. Also got uh, 30,000 miles on this one, 30,000 plus, so we possibly have a little bit of degradation in there on the original supposed 66 kilowatt hour pack, maybe down a little bit. And obviously the Bolt EUV being fresh uh, should have all of its capacity there at 65 kilowatt hours. So interesting results. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Definitely, as I say, go and check out Tom's channel, PCs and EVs. All kinds of EVs over there. Good uh, stuff coming from him. And uh, yeah, lots more videos to come here, hopefully, as we catch up for the summer. So see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank <music> you.